If you're wanting to qualify for state benefits, such as the state pension, you'll need to pay national insurance contributions. These are paid by most UK employees through the pay as you earn, or PAYE scheme. However, if you're a self-employed sole trader, the total amount owed and the frequency you make your national insurance contributions may look a little different. If you're a sole trader, you are legally required to pay national insurance contributions if your sole trader profits are above the small profits threshold for class two national insurance and above the lower profits limit for class four national insurance. These thresholds can change year by year with the rates for the current tax year listed in the link below. The total amount you owe in national insurance contributions is based on your taxable turnover for the year, which can be worked out when you file your self-assessment tax return. However, while you can work out how much you owe in class two and class four national insurance when filing your self-assessment, you won't pay them at the same time. Class two national insurance contributions are paid as part of your final income tax payment falling on the 31st of January each year. Class four payments, however, are paid in two six month installments with the first as part of your payment on account for 31st of July and the second alongside your final self-assessment payment on 31st of January. For more on paying national insurance as a self-employed sole trader from making voluntary national insurance contributions to the rates and thresholds you need to know, head over to the article via the link below.